Hello everybody. Today we're going to introduce a fantastic new technology. All of our technologies are great. We've actually gone to the, uh, gone to the lengths of trademarking our hot stuff range. So, let me begin. Currently we supply spray-on coatings. They are really great. So you spray the coating on your training shoe and it's stain resistant. Does that coating like to be washed in machine? No. We always make that clear. So we've been devising a coating that you can wash. What's our target? Our target was to have the world's best fabric coating for training shoes and other surfaces but for training shoes. And that's what we've created. So here we have the hot stuff pack. Inside the pack we have an empty bottle when you receive it. We have two sachets each with 5ml of the liquid uh, concentrate in and a pair of, pair of gloves. We use the gloves uh, really because the hot stuff uh, liquid is a little tacky when you're, when you're working on it. So, let's do the application. Very, very straightforward. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to take uh, one of these and we cut the corner off. It just makes life easier. So we cut the corner off. There's 5ml liquid in here. So there we've cut the corner off and we can get access to the liquid. We next take the bottle and we have 100 ml of water. So we put 100 ml of water into the bottle. Okay, so we've got 100 ml of water. It's always best to add, add concentrates to, uh, to the, uh, the, the water. It mixes better rather than having it sitting at the bottom. So next we're going to take the concentrate and pour it inside there and we make sure that it's all come out, which it has. Then we're going to put the top on. Right, so that's ready to, I'm going to shake it in a second, I'll put my gloves on now. You'll see why I need my gloves in a moment. Um, the gloves are not strictly essential. Uh, but the way that I'm going to show you how to put the concentrate on and, and etc., you'll see why I'm using gloves. We are also working on a, a, a protected surface. If you're doing this at home, do it over a wash basin or sink. It's very straightforward. It's just going to take... It's, it's now very similar. So we're going to shake this up now. Just mixing the liquid, concentrate. Uh, whilst that's settling, it's important to note that we are offering five pairs of training shoes. It could be as many as seven or eight if they're smaller. If they're bigger, it reduces the number, but we say five pairs. So, what do we do? We're very simply going to spray. I've taken the laces out of here, just so that we can get in. We want to do the, the best job that we possibly can. And how we do it is as follows. We Take, spray it liberally and go on the rubber, it doesn't make any difference. That's the first pass and we rub it with our fingers. This pushes it into the surface and that means that when we spray it again, it allows the next layer to penetrate more easily because otherwise the little bubbles form on the surface. And we want to do every area of the shoe. We don't want this to be stained and this area to be nice and shiny and clean. So that's why we do it. Then, unlike our other coating, which is coats the surface, we want to really moisten this because this is going to last for a long time. Up to 10, 10 to 40 wash cycles, which is a lot. There's nothing else on the market that will, that will do this. So we're now going to carry on our spraying. And the target is to fully, fully moisten this fabric. Now this is a canvas. Canvas is of course far more absorbent than a light uh, training shoe. So that's why we're using canvas. And we're going to be showing you after we've cured it, after we've dried it, the unbelievable performance from this, from this technology. Now that is pretty much fully moistened. We're just going to do one shoe at the moment. I've used approximately, I would think, about, for that training shoe, about 15 to 20 millilitres. This, this there's lots inside there. So, that's finished. 
we would now we now have to cure this or dry it. So the two options. Firstly, we put that to one side, come back in a few hours from now, put it on a radiator, put it outside, but it has to has to dry. Or or I can take it and put it in a tumble dryer immediately, or I can use a hair dryer. So the training shoe has been drying on a radiator for a few hours now. Uh, and we're going to finish it with a, we could put it into the tumble dryer, or we're going to use a, a hair dryer. This is a heat gun, but it's multi-variable. We've, we've set this at uh, 60 degrees. The fabric, whatever you're using, has to be heat treated, cured, at 50 or 60, between 50 to 60 degrees to get the full bonding. But remember, what we're offering is so much better than anything else. It's worth taking that little bit of extra time. So, I've also done the laces on here. I just put them in my hand and squeezed. Those have been dried as well. So, well, they're not fully dry. I'm going to finish off now. It's, it's dry to the touch, but we, we, when we had it on the radiator, it, uh, it's only just got it dry. We need to raise that temperature a bit. And so we're going to use this. Uh, be careful if you're doing something with um, metal eyelets. They will get warm. The fabric won't. Uh, as I say, don't use a heat gun like this unless it's multivariable and you can set the temperature. But this, as I say, is, has been set. Hair dryer, again, you don't go really, really close. You're just going to warm it through. Or tumble dryer. So now we've finished drying that. It's uh, completely dry. When you put it in a tumble dryer, remember that it has to be dry or time it longer than you would normally. So, for example, if it's a little bit moist, it's going to take an extra 10 minutes for that moisture to uh, dissipate through the, the dryer and then it needs an extra 10 minutes in the dryer to, to, to really make it uh, get the temperature right. So, we, we, unashamedly, we are using temperature to cure this, but we are getting what previously would be a professional coating as a DIY coating. That's the big, big difference. This is a mixture of coffee and chocolate with sugars inside because those are the sticky, nasty things. Here, even if I make a little lake, it won't. Now if I take a tissue to that, it will come off completely. So I, I think we can see clearly what we're dealing with, um, an exciting time and Hot stuff is really going to make a mark on the world.